host, Mr. Polarski, again, and welcome to another installment of Geometry Lessons. Today we're going to talk about the converse of the Pythagorean Theorem. In a previous video on the Pythagorean Theorem, we learned how to use the Pythagorean Theorem to find the lengths of missing sides of a right triangle. We're going to see how to use the converse of the Pythagorean Theorem. The converse of the Pythagorean Theorem can be used to verify if a triangle is a right triangle. The converse of the Pythagorean Theorem reads, if the square of the length of one side of a triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the length of the other two sides, then the triangle is a right triangle. So in this example 4, we're going to determine if the triangle with lengths 4, 6, and 7 is a right triangle. I start off by writing down the Pythagorean Theorem, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. I'd like to mention here that the longest side of the triangle should always be put in for c or the hypotenuse. You can see that I do that there and I'm making a note about that. The longest side should always be put in for c. Filling in the rest of the numbers, uh, 6 and 4 represent the lengths of the legs. It doesn't matter if they go in for A and B. So we have 4 squared plus 6 squared is equal to 7 squared. 4 squared is 16. 6 squared is 36. And 7 squared is 49. When we add 16 to 36, that gives us 52. And that does not equal 49. Therefore, we can conclude that the triangle is not a right triangle because it does not fulfill the Pythagorean Theorem. Next we have two inequalities to discuss and they are related to the Pythagorean Theorem. In Theorem A3 it states if a, the square of the length of the longest side of a triangle is greater than the sum of the lengths of the other two sides, the triangle is obtuse. You can see the inequality there. If the square of C is greater than the sum of A squared and B squared, we can assume that the triangle is obtuse. In theorem A4, it reads if the square of the length of the longest side of a triangle is less than the sum the squares of the length of the other two sides, the triangle is acute. And again, that comes down to looking at the longest side, the square of it, and if it's less than the sum of the squares of the two legs, then we can assume that the triangle is acute. We will use these theorems to classify the following triangles. The numbers represents the lengths of the triangle, classify each triangle as acute or obtuse. I'll put in 25 and in for C. Notice I leave a blank there because that's what we're trying to determine. And 15 squared in for the A, A and 20 in for the B. 25 squared is 625. 15 squared is 225. And 20 squared is 400. When I simplify the right hand side, we see that 625 is equal to 625. So from the converse of the Pythagorean Theorem, we can state that since the square of the longest side is equal to the sum of the squares of the legs, or the two shorter sides of the triangle, it is a right triangle. So the triangle formed by sides 15, 20, and 25 is a right triangle. The three numbers here are 10, 15, and 20. Again, 20 will go in place of the C, so we'll have 20 squared. I put an underline because that's where I'm going to fill in my comparing symbol. And then 10 squared plus 15 squared in for the A squared plus B squared. 20 squared is 400. Leaving the blank so I can fill in my symbol. And 100 plus 225, that'd be 10 squared and 15 squared. That sum is 325, and using the greater than symbol, we can say that 400 is greater than 325. 
So since the square of the longest side is greater than the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides, we can classify this triangle with sides 10, 15, and 20 as an obtuse triangle. Hey, thanks again for watching this video. I hope I was able to help you uh, with the converse of the Pythagorean Theorem and classifying triangles by using the Pythagorean Theorem inequalities. If I was helpful today, leave a comment or rate the video. This is Mr. Polarski signing off.